diesel wananchi kwa ajili ya ukame hawangeweza kwa ajili mfugo yao hai, haina haina bei kwa masoko kwa hivyo wananchi hawakuwa na pesa ya kupeana kwa maji kununua maji kwa hivyo hii mradi imetu ni kama imetusaidia sana kwa ajili imelete maji kutoka chini hii solarization ni kama maji yetu sasa sisi tunakunya bure hapa kijiji kijiji mzima ma, mfugo na wananchi yote wanategemea hii maji na hii maji imewezeshwa na msaada ya kutoka serikali ya Kenya ambayo ina, inasaidiwa na World Bank hiyo msaada ime, 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 ime kabisa sisi kwa hali ya kutafuta maji mbeleni watu walikuwa natafuta maji baka garufa watu walikuwa natafuta maji baka kwa laga mbali lakini sasa watu yote wamekuja hapa na wanapata maji wakati wa wote wanataka e, tunatoa mwito ya kwamba tumefanyiwa mzuri tunashukuru wale wametusaidia kuwezesha hii miradi na tunataka tunaomba kama wanaweza kuendeleza mradi mwingine kama hizi zaidi tutashukuru na tunataka sisi tunataka kutuma ujumbe yetu ya kuambia ya kwamba tumefaidika na tuko na furaha tele na tunawaombea Mungu ya kwamba waweze kuwasaidia wengine zaidi sisi shida zetu ni ngini zimebaki pia tutaziandika kwa hii mradi e, ki, tukipitisha ile e, kiwango yetu ya mkao ya wananchi na tutabendekeza ile shida zetu zingine zote ili pia tupate kutatuliwa Sa kweli hii mradi e, imesaidia kijiji na wale e, se, wale wa, watu wamekaa kwa hii kijiji ni kama 500 households na wale wengine wanazingira ambayo ni wafugaji kwa hapa ni o, kama ni elfu, elfu moja e, households kwa hivyo hiyo yote wanafaidika na hii mradi na pia wageni hawakosi sasa hii tulikuta mtu amehamba kutoka Habasweni amekuja hapa wageni hawakosi kila siku wanatumia kwa hivyo hii ni njia ya kupitia mfugo wakiendelea kwenda kwa soko ya gariza pia hiyo soko route pia ni hapa na wanafaidika zote sisi tumefaidika sana na una, vile unajua vile hii population ya hii kijiji ni sahizi vile unaona watu wamepungua ni wafugaji wengi hawako lakini wakirudi hii kijiji itakuwa itasaidia sisi e, swali nyingine nimesahau wanyama wanyama kila mfugo aina tatu e, ngombe ngamia mbuzi na hata punda zinapata maji hapa wanyama wapori ikiwemo e, ikiwemo ngiri ikiwemo ostrich ikiwemo giraffes all hii traps inawachiliwa usiku ikija ndio wanamaliza hata fisi wanakunya usiku kwa hivyo hata jioni ikifika saa kumi, utaona ile wanyama ambayo e, more friendly to humans like herbivores wale wengine wanakula nyasi na nini kama giraffes na ostrich watakuwa hapa lakini fisi na mbwa mitu yote inakuja usiku hapa kukunya hiyo traf na wale tunaenda ku audit kwa tunafanya auditing e, tukifata PQ tulikuwa na PQ e, ni audit ma contractors bila wanafanya from the foundation hapo katikati mpaka the finishing uh, baada ya audit sisi tumepata kazi mzuri sana tumefurahia vizuri sana na tumepata facilities mingi ambayo hatukuwa nao mbele nafikiri eh, the first time tumeona kitu kama hii this is the first time because mbele ni tulikuwa tunapata some contractors from Garissa from Nairobi wanakuja kujenga tu hapa they build and go hakuna 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 fursa walikuwa natupatia lakini this time and CC community ndio tukao tuna drive this project from the bottom kwenda juu so tumefurahia sana and we appreciate na tuna, tunaomba tupatiwe fursa zaidi na tupatiwe funds zaidi kwa sababu shida zetu ziko mingi sana zingine zimetatuliwa na zingine bado kwa hivyo tumefurahia sana shida za za kiafya kwa mfano ya maji like uh, na kwamba ndio tu kuna kama seven settlements Uh, surrounding like bahuri where i'm i'm from nafikiri hakuna hata hospital even a, a clinic hakuna so unazopata uh, mama mama akipata akitaka ku deliver lazima awe analeta kutoka kutoka bahuri 24 km mpaka hapa sometimes mvua inanyesha njia hapo katikati inakuwa mbaya mama sasa anapata shida mingi sana the other thing is uh, scarcity of water bottles zetu 
yield ya maji ni kidogo sana. So tulikuwa tunaomba mambo ya afya, mambo ya maji. Eh watu walikuwa wanasemanga mbeleni na tulikuwa tunaonanga mbeleni kwa sababu sio sisi community tulikuwa tuna drive hiyo maneno. Ni watu tu walikuwa wanakuja na kutoka mbeleni bila nimekwambia mbeleni. Lakini katika hii project nafikiri malalamishi kama hizo hakuna. Kwa sababu eh, wale committee ya kutoa pesa kutoka account ni watu wetu. Wakitoa pesa eh, sisi pia wale wana audit ni sisi pia bado. Tuko na ile PQ na ile kiasi ya pesa ambayo inafaa kuingia hapo. Eh, so nafikiri mambo ya corruption ama nini hiyo kwa hii project haikuanga. We have been assisting the communities in Garissa, Turkana and uh, Wajia, the ones which are next to the refugee camps. This project was for five years and uh, the World the Bank gave us uh, 10 billion, which was divided among the three counties which host refugees. We have Garissa, which got 4.2 billion. We have um, um, Trukana, which got 3.3 billion, and we have Wajia, which, which got uh, 2 billion. Now, what we are supposed to do with this uh, project is that um, we are supposed to provide water, uh, health facilities, education facilities for community which host the refugees. We are also supposed to make sure that uh, there is livelihood. Uh, for the communities which have been hosting uh, refugees, these communities are given money to do livelihood generation activities. Uh, they have businesses to do with the livestock, business to do with non-traditional non uh, livelihood, like um, they do um, uh, issues to do with the tree planting, they do seedlings, so that we can enrich the environment which has, which has been destroyed. And because it is, community-driven uh, project. It uh, takes time because the communities must be synthesized. They are trained so that they understand the project and they come with the priority needs. That is what they want to do, the help they want from the government uh, and from the money which we have been given by World Bank. So that process is with, which takes a lot of time has uh, delayed the project, but we are almost there because like in Galisa here where we are, they have, we have, got, they have gotten 1.7 billion, meaning what is remaining within a year, if one goes well, we should be through. And since the project has a lot of benefits to the communities, they have been very happy with this project. That is why they are asking, is the community themselves asking if there could be an extension because the benefits are very many, according to them. If they have water, which they didn't have, they have water for livestock, they have water for for themselves, they are able to make, to do businesses and put money in their pockets. They are able to take their children to school. We are, we are building classrooms, you know, so that we keep children to, uh, in, the, in school and so that they can translate from primary school to secondary and even university. university. That's a very, very big thing in this area. A success rate can, I can only be evaluated by the community, but what makes me happy is that uh, the way we had planned, the, pro the project is on course. That is, that is what I can say is my success uh, story. The project is on course. When I come here, I see women getting water, clean water, which they didn't have. I feel very happy. When I come here, I find animals which had no water and they were dying like now in the dry season, they have enough water, that is what makes me happy. We're here, you know, working with the government of Kenya uh, to take a look and see whether the, the money for this project is being used uh, for, you know, for the right purpose. So we, I think for me, I'm looking to see maybe three things. One, are the projects actually here and functional? So we have solarization here of the, of the water pump for to provide water to people in the local community. Number two, does the project meet the need of the community? Is it what they wanted? Is it what they asked for? to match the needs in the local area. And then number three, because this project is community-based, it really tries to build the capacity for communities to, to make decisions themselves and then to manage these projects once, once we're finished. So we're really coming to check, do they have the knowledge, do they have the skills, do they have the confidence that they need in order to manage this when the project is finished so that you know, the water that's flowing here now you know, will be flowing in five or 10 years time. 
uh, not just for the next six months. So this is really what we've come to see. Uh, we'll be here you know, in different parts of Gurusa over the next few days uh, to check out different, different parts of the, of the county. The project is supposed to finish uh, in April of 2022. Uh, we're, we're in the process right now in response to a request from the government to extend that for one more year uh, through to April 2023. Uh, that, you know, just because of the COVID situation, need a little more time to finish things. So there, there will be at least a 12 month extension. Uh, beyond that is really a matter of, uh, for, the, for the Kenyan government to decide. You can talk to is what I've seen here uh, at this one site. Um, so of course we can see that the, the water is flowing uh, the community have told us that uh, it's meeting the needs of the people and also the livestock, which provides their main source of income in this area. Uh, the community have told us that they've been trained on, on uh, how to manage the finances, on how to operate and maintain it. Um, so from what we've seen here, you know, it, it's, um, you know, it, it's very pleasing.